What's up guys and gals? I'm your host Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel and you're tuning in to an OBS Studio video. I haven't done an OBS Studio video in a very long time but I was way overdue and I really really needed to catch up and eventually do one. So here we go we're gonna go and dive into it. What this video is about is pretty much how to pause your video so whenever you're doing a video more than likely you're trying to attempt to do a pre-recorded video because you cannot pause a live stream when you're trying to do live streams it won't be possible to do that with OBS and who really would want to pause their live stream while they're actually live I mean you can try to throw in more like a slide that shows that you're maybe um, timed out or whatever, like went to the bathroom and stuff like that. So that would be like throwing in a different scene with another screen, like like I just did there, and maybe throw in some audio in the background, you know, as a change up transition. You can do that, but that's not considered to be pausing. So if you want to pause, pausing is a pre-recorded video. So in order to do it, you would have to hit the start recording option and you'll see there's a pause button here. But it won't be initially activated unless you change to a specific setting. And when I say changing to a specific setting, I mean going to the file area in the upper left corner and then going to settings. And then from settings, you have to go to, to the output option. And in the output option, you have two different tabs starting out. Now, I'm not sure if you have the exact same setup I have because mine is in the output mode for advanced. So yours could also be in a different setup. But for the most part, streaming and recording is what you should have in terms of these tabs up here. If you go to the recording tab, that's where you have to make the setting change. So what I changed over here recently was my encoder. So the encoder is really important. You don't necessarily have to know what an encoder is, but it pretty much helps your computer to pretty much set up itself for video recording or live streaming. So the, the encoder that we're using here is a new encoder, and that's the encoder that you want to set it for. Generally, let's see, it looks like this is not going to give me anything to change because I have it as stop recording and the pause button here so let me actually stop the recording now we'll go to file and go to settings so make sure that you're not doing a live stream currently or a recording currently and then go back to that output area so now yours could probably start off as simple and if you're starting off in this simple action function here then this is the only option you have to change the encoder. So you don't want that per se. You want to go to advanced. And in the advanced options, that's when you start to get the ability to see streaming and recording. See that? So from recording, you want to go over here where it has encoder. And generally, it's going to be defaulted to use stream encoder. That's probably what yours is going to be set up as. And I'll show you the difference. So we're going to click OK. Now if I go to start recording and I click it, there is no pause button. See that? So if you have that issue and you don't see your pause button next to your stop recording tab or button, then make sure you, you end it. Obviously, go to File, go to Settings, then go to Output and make sure you set up in advanced. So I'll put mode to advanced and then you go to recording and then you go encoder and then select the new one. That's what I recommend. And then the bit rate doesn't matter. It could be set up at 10,000 like you saw when I first started this, this uh, video or it could be 200 or 2,500 and then apply. So let's apply. Let's click OK. And now let's click start recording and then you'll see and notice that you can pause it and unpause it. 
and to show you proof that it's paused or unpaused you can see when you hover over it it says unpaused recording and then you hover over it and then it says pause recording so there, there you go with that and hopefully this helps you to go a little bit further if you're trying to do those pre-recorded sessions um, now another thing I wanted y'all folks to see depending on the type of background you have and the theme I should say so let's go to setting again and go to general and then right here in the upper area for the general t uh, tab you have theme I have it at, at Rackney currently but usually it defaults to this theme here when OBS first starts or you may have the dark theme I'm not sure so if I apply this one and I go to start recording you won't be able to tell when you hit the pause button sometimes you cannot tell because of the color so the color is very faint blue very very light almost like a sky blue so you can't really tell that you're pausing and unpausing see that so I recommend for that to just switch it to a darker theme and then that should help you right there so I like the Rackney one because of the, the differential in the color the contrast is really extreme for the pause button and other than that that's all I got Joe Love and Peace to all Mike Pugh signing off I'll see y'all folks in the very next OBS studio videos whatever tutorials that I can come up with or how to's etc and feel free to smash that bell icon out of the universe if y'all folks want to get my latest covering this subject matter I'm going to be trying to do video editing tips using OBS Studio um, and also how to create really, really highly functional and detailed, good looking videos on this subject. And hopefully y'all folks are willing to check out some of my other stuff that I have on my channel. I do have a great deal of tech stuff that I've been you know, venturing into and trying to learn. I'm getting into 3D modeling and animation a lot more. And in the future, I'm going to try to merge these together in terms of using OBS Studio to broadcast what my actual elements in 3D are capable of bringing to the table. For those who want to, you know, raise the roof and the element of their visual presence and their YouTube presentation, whatever they want to do in 3D, um, they can merge together with using OBS Studio. And it, it will become really powerful and potent because creating 3D assets is almost like purchasing things in the real world that you don't own at the moment so for you to be able to create a 3d asset you can bring yourself into a 3d realm and fill the view and most definitely using green screen you can do it as well and i'll be trying to bring back more of my green screen tutorial type videos to help folks to merge into that arena because using green screen allows you to get closer and closer to what hollywood can do so <clears throat> there you go with that hopefully y'all folks like that little tidbit that i threw out there and i'll see you next time joe love and peace to all mike pew signing off